Oh hey, he's back. Yorick. <laughs> We're dead, but we still deserve some respect. Ah. Uh, oh. Sins are red skulls and good deeds are white skulls. Even the best decorations can't make a graveyard a peaceful place when it is full of... Whatever that means. <laughs> okay. So the more red skulls, the harder it's going to become to make it appealing to the quality of the, the cemetery. Yeah. So, all human remains have their own unique... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corpse gets that from its body parts. You can change a corpse's... thing... by removing organs. The main way to increase the graveyard's quality is to decorate the graves. Yep, each line that has both a that and a that counts as one. Lines that have... that never count. Okay, so the more red skulls it has, like I said before, the more quality you need to overcome that. So if that was a red skull as well, that would be zero. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. Um, so we need to actually build some stuff. Um... Maybe a furnace, but we don't have the parts for that. So, I think a lot of the early game you're just sort of cleaning up stuff, dealing with the bodies. Can we fill that up? No. I don't know if 0 0.4 actually has an impact. We need to build more uh, wooden repair kits, but we can't do that just yet. It's a bit annoying. So let's see if we can build some stuff over here. Or maybe buy the materials to build some stuff. So, timber stockpile we have. Yard space, <laughs> we don't really need more yard space just yet. A furnace we need. So, one more flitch. Uh, quite a few pieces of stone. And some simple iron parts. So let's see if we can get some stone. Can we get some stone from this? There we go. So we needed quite a bunch. We need like 14 pieces of stone. Let's clean this up a bit too. I mean this is my house. If you have a good house you'll go a long way to having a good career I guess. I want to be the best damn graveyard keeper I can be. Plus you get good points. See, so look at all that stuff. We can research things with that. So, we need to make these flitches. So we'll need a saw horse. Unlock that. Um, a stone repair kit will be good. We can just go straight for the wood repair kit. Because I think most of those graveyards have wood stuff. That would use... Pretty much all of our yeah XP, all of our points. That's all right. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Look at all this. Oh, we, we'll go for that next. All of this stuff. A lot of this was um, locked off in the alpha, but it seems like they've unlocked it now, so that's good. Um. So we still need three more stone. We'll quickly get that before we go to bed. Let's see if we can do that. Three 
Three more. Beautiful. We don't have the iron parts though. So now we can make a saw horse. Good. We need one of those. Let's just put it down the back there. I need to build that. See, a weird thing about this game, you don't have to go to bed at all. I could stay up all night if I wanted to. I mean, if you... I have the stamina potion and you can make food and stuff. You can essentially stay awake forever. <laughs> if you wanted to. Although it also saves when you sleep, so <laughs> it might be a good idea to sleep every so often. Um, so, in order to make anything we need logs. Although we can make wooden markers. What is this? Oh, I can make two. Okay, cool. That's new. That wasn't in the game before. We can only make one. But we can make more of those if we chop down a tree. So, let's chop down this tree. Because it's kind of in the way. We get a log. <laughs> and we'll just put that over there. It was only a small tree, so we only got one log. But... It's good enough for now. And you don't need to take that log here or anything, it's just, it's already there. So, we'll make six flitches. I really, I don't know what a flitch is. I guess, I mean, it shows you what it is, but I've never heard that word before. And now, we can make... Two... Three, four... Let's just make two for now. I want to take stock of what we actually need. I, I remember there was at least two unmarked graves, so we'll go over there and fix that up. I'm still waiting for another body. They used to come once every day. I guess that is not the case anymore. So, this grave up here, we'll add a gravestone. As you can see, it doesn't take much to reduce your stamina. It only gives me plus one. Oh, I can't add one here. Okay. Um, we can remove a gravestone. Is this a wooden one? Yeah, so this one is zero, so we can remove that. Again, it costs stamina. We probably probably a good idea to add to make some food actually. Cool. Uh, we might have enough to research this. No, we need five of the green one. We have four. I think you get that from harvesting bushes and stuff. So, uh, I think I saw some mushrooms up here. We'll just quickly grab that and then we will be able to research. There you go. Um, hey. There. <laughs> so, now we can make a gravestone, a wooden cross, and a grave fence. Lovely. Good stuff. We're making some progress. Obviously, it helps that I've played this game a little bit before. <laughs> um, so, we probably want a carpenter's bench. And this one is a little bit bigger. I think I'm going to put that... I can't rotate it or anything. So, I'm going to put that there. It seems to fit nicely in there. He walks all the way around. Alright, so now we can make the wood repair kits. And for this you need a flitch. You also need a flitch to make a plank. And you need a plank for a wood repair kit. But other than that we can make one. We can also make all of this stuff. So look how easy it is to make a wooden fence. You just need one plank. That's really easy. So, we should chop a tree. I can't chop that tree because it's too big for some reason. Oh, I can't chop that either. Oh, we probably need to unlock the space. 
It says it's a technology, but probably the space. Alright. Chuck that over there. Ah, man. Uh, ooh. Minus one health, plus two. That's no good. There we go. <laughs> ah, the lights come on. It actually stops you from working when you reach zero. So, um, it's not quite dark yet. Let's see what we can cook. And I love the way that you can still access the stuff that's in the chest nearby. That is really good. So we can make dough, we just need water. We won't, we won't actually be able to grab that now <laughs> because we don't have enough. Ah oh, shit, we might actually be able to make anything. <laughs> you know what we'll do? We'll just sleep a little bit. There you go. <laughs> we'll wake up and keep cooking. I'm so refreshed. <laughs> Alright, so we've got raw sliced meat, and now uh, you need to fuel it. Yeah, okay. So this is all the stuff we can cook. We just make baked meat. And it cooks by itself, so we can leave that and come back, and it'll be cooked. We should get some water as well. Oh no! <laughs> ah, whatever. We'll just go to sleep. It's dark enough anyway. Let's equip that so we can eat that if we need to. Mushrooms I'll probably just put away because I don't really need them. And let's also chuck that in there in case we're desperate. Hello. Ah, oh, the Inquisitor. Alright, this is fun. It's going up the path to Witch Hill. Alright. So, we're going to go check that out today. The Inquisitor comes every... Burgundy? I want to say Burgundy. Alright, Monsignor. <laughs> there he is. I wasn't snooping around, how dare you. He's a cultist. I'm the graveyard keeper. This guy is really shady. Sure. So, he's gonna ask us some questions. Um, let's just dodge. You're definitely hiding something. <laughs> Hmm. The dark cult is rising. So we're gonna burn a witch today. Burn the witch. Burn, burn. Everyone's happy. Alright. You work with a lot of dead bodies, huh? Yes, I am near the graveyard. I need someone to be my friend here at the village. A friend of mine is a friend of the Holy Inquisition. Okay. When I played myself, I 
refuse to be his friend, but I kind of want to see what happens if we get on his good side. You'll have to show your goodwill. So have a couple of minor tasks. All right. We can talk the next orange. Oh no, it's burgundy, isn't it? Yeah, so he comes up here every burgundy. Uh, not now. <laughs> okay. That's that. So there is a little bit of stuff that you can do around here, but we're not really interested right now. We'll come back in a week's time and speak to that guy again. Gee, they really changed the rate at which you get bodies, because I haven't got any. <laughs> only got one. And I've been playing for three days, or four days, I've lost track. Um, okay, so. Oh uh, yeah, we need, need to chop some wood. Let's make some flitches. We need a lot of them, actually. So now that we've done that, we can make some planks. And actually, before that, let's take stock. How many wooden fences could we actually use? Because I don't want to make more than I need to, because these resources are pretty hard to come by. So one, two, three at least. Four, because that one sucks. Or would it be better to make a repair kit? Ah, uh, no, I'll probably just replace it actually. So, one, two, three. Is this one? No, that one's okay. Four, five. And that'll get us up to minus two, I think. We'll see. It could be more than that actually, if it gives you plus two. Alright, so we need five wooden planks. We get a lot of points from doing this, but it uses a lot of stamina too. Alright, so now that we've got that, make five wooden fences. We won't be able to make them all. Oh, we could probably eat. There you go. Gee, this really uses the stamina. Oh, man. It's not even night time yet. All right. But we got a lot of points from that, so... It's probably worth it. I mean, what is the point of having this if you don't use it anyway? So, we'll start with the ones that don't have anything. Just add one. So it only gives you plus one. Bugger. Ugh. Cool. Uh, this one didn't have any... Get rid of that one. It sucks you need to remove it and then add a new one. Ah. We'll leave that one. And this one we wanted to remove as well. I'll just do that so that I know what I'm doing when I come back. We need more food, but we haven't got any bodies, so... I guess we can make dough? Because we have water and stuff. Uh, bread. Dough. How do I make dough again? Oh, I need to prepare it and I don't have stamina. Whatever. We'll just sleep. So, um, I want to make some dough. 
Let's just make it all 24 dough. <laughs> Get some good points from that too. I like how you can queue stuff now. You never used to be able to do that. It's really useful. Bread. Plus 12. Alright. So we can only cook two because we don't have enough sticks. But it gives us four bread. Okay. And I'll put the rest away. Cool. I don't think there was anything we had to do on this day. Just fix this up a little bit more. Cool. So we're at minus three. And minus two. Love it. Uh, we can also make gravestones. That one's good. I think this one... It's got a wooden marker that's pretty shit. But we can improve that. Fairly easily. So normally, what happened when I played in my game? Um, you get a lot of bodies. And in order to get the money and the resources from them, you have to bury it. And when you bury the bodies it gives you a negative rating, so it makes it harder for you to get a positive rating. But the fact that we haven't got any bodies, it's making it quite easy to get a positive rating. So, I can't really complain about that. <laughs> um, we can make a wooden cross. We can make three of those, and it gives us plus two. So, two times three is six, so that'll give us the plus four. Oh, just need some planks. All right, we'll do that. And now, oh, there you go. About time. So I'll make three of those. Actually, I'll deal with this body first because I want to make sure that I have enough stamina for that. And also it decays, so... I think we already had a grave dug out for that, so... Uh, let's dig that out. We'll dig that out, we'll extract the flesh. Because we need that for eating and stuff. I'll take the body. See ya. We can also repair that. We'll do that later. Alright, cool. Oh, that gives us plus one as well. Very nice. We've got a certificate that we can sell. Um, so we can make another fence for that as well. Mamma mia. We should sleep soon. But yeah, it looks like we're going to get that promotion really soon. Which is good. I'm happy about that. And that's it. Although we have bread. Hey, 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 look at the bread. Uh, let's make that number two. We'll just quickly finish this before we go to bed. Nice. Can we unlock anything? Oh, ah, so we can harvest more stuff. So we can extract like skulls and stuff, but honestly, I, d I haven't found a use for that stuff yet in my playthrough, so I'll leave that for now. Transplanting, we don't need that. This is stuff that we will need. Forging, yeah. Complex iron parts, um, I'll leave that for now. Firewood we'll need. We already need that. And stone working. 
Yeah. Wait, let's check what's this first. Oh yeah. We get stone working. Alright, cool. Doing well. Let's go to sleep. So now there's a whole bunch of stuff that we can build. We still haven't got a furnace. Um, wooden anvil is new. We can build that now. Same as a chopping spot. That's probably a good idea to get one of those. Yeah, alright, cool. We're getting some good stuff. I kind of want to dump these. Because they're, they're not really good. We should prepare that meat too. Before I forget. So today's purple. That priest will be there. This is actually a really good time. If we can finish the cemetery today. Which we might actually be able to. It's a really good time. Because <laughs> we can speak to him straight away. And we'll add the good one. Adds plus two. I think we'll just be able to get it. Um, this one... Oh, it's actually okay. We'll add one here, because it doesn't have anything. We want our graves to look nice, you know? Yes. Uh, is this one in poor quality? We'll remove that. We need like a bin. And this should take us the plus five. Yeah. Hello. I fixed the graveyard. <laughs> yeah. I hereby pronounce you official keeper of this holy place and prior of this church. I thought it was going to make me cleric. It'd be a great honor. Just stand at the pulpit and speak the words. What words? <laughs> The words! <laughs> of course. So now we can decorate this place as well. That's going to take a bit of work. Because we don't have any faith. So create prayer for faith. Uh, Bishop told you that you now can arrange a church service. So there you go. Okay. So we can pray. So you put on... <laughs> It's really weird. You put that in there. <laughs> Success chance. 100%. Nice. Uh, hmm. uh, may the force be with you. <laughs> it worked. Yay. The last part I kept some books in the church library considered himself a scientist. We can make a study table. Oh, wow. Cool. Weekly ceremony on every purple. Alright, so next purple we have to come here and do another sermon. Cool. That's nice. So we have casual prayer and when we do that, we need... Ah, oh, so you can craft that as a, at a desk or desk two. And that gives you faith depending on how good your sermon is, I guess. Um, cool. What is this? can access a vast array of services. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wait. So we can get exhumation permission. Oh, you can get a royal stamp. Uh, we can become a citizen. Gives you plus 30, plus 30 happiness. That's really good. Let's do that. And a royal stamp means that we can sell the meat to that guy. So, let's get that. Ah, oh, shit, 50. Okay. Well, we have this that we can sell. 
and that will give us some money so let's do that alrighty guys I'm gonna have to leave it there for today thank you so much for watching I hope you're enjoying the series so far let me know what you thought in the comments section there's still so much of this place that I haven't even explored yet it's just there's so many things to do anyway I'll see you in the next one take care